Good morning to you, welcome. It's me, it's a lovely day and it is, we're going to be discussing the uh, fact that Rachel Reeves, the Chancellor, is going to be doing a lot of things in her budget in her about two months time, October. Again, I don't really know why we need to have two budgets a year. That was started a few years ago. I suspect that that was obviously well, it is pretty obvious that they want to just up everything, up all the taxes, everything, every time. But they don't want to do it once a year. They want to do it twice a year. And people accept it. No problem. Now, they're not going to give anything away. Well, they are. But not to us. There's that country near to Poland that they're going to give loads of money to. And, of course, the other country in Africa that they're going to give money to. And every other country around the world they're going to give money to but they're not going to give money to us what they're going to do is they're going to take it and i have a story later re regarding the pensioners uh, i've got something to say about that but we're talking about this now and it's obviously it is related because uh they're claiming that there's a 22 billion shortfall in the budget well my question is where is that going to come from to pay? Uh, it's all made up money anyway. It's all imaginary. Money is not real. Figures are just numbers on a piece of paper. So when they say, oh, you owe, you owe me, blah, 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 then it's just a number. How can you owe somebody something? Or how can the country be in deficit like that? Now, there will be people out there who are completely brainwashed, and they'll go, oh, it was this Tory government, blah, it was a Labour government, blah, you know, it was all those sort of things, and they've all spent money they didn't have. They're spending money they don't have anyway, because they print it. It's all printed by the, by the Treasury. It's not real anyway. If it was real, then it would be backed by gold. And you go into your local bank and say, here's a piece of paper that says £5, give me £5 worth of whatever. So she's claiming this and um, she's also claiming that she's going to hike taxes in October. Yeah, so this is a story in Microsoft News. So there's obviously fury, everybody's up in arms about this, but it was expected. Come on, guys, let's not beat around the bush. We knew what they were going to do before they even got into power. And it doesn't matter how they got into power, whether it was by hook or crook, whether it was a legal thing or not, we don't really care, they're in power. They've been destined to carry on with the Tory reign. They are basically gonna be doing this uh, because they're blaming the Tories for the 22 billion in the government books. As I say, it's just a piece of paper. They said that not uh, what could be hiked, but likely inheritance tax, pension reliefs, capital gains, and of course she's not even going to look at the rich people who are getting away with murder, literally, they're getting away with not paying what they're owed, and these big companies as well, they're not paying what they owe. Uh, uh, basically, the other side of the coin is, instead of helping the people he has ruled out that they're not going to increase the rates of income tax i.e the threshold they could relate uh, raise that to 20,000 uh, and that would help out a lot of people before they start paying tax uh miseries told the uh, agents the news agents i think that we will have to increase taxes in the budget asked directly whether she could rule out cutting pension tax relief she told lbc i'm not going to write a budget on this program i eat the, the tv or radio program but commitments were made in our manifesto not to increase national insurance vat or income tax and also the triple lock don't believe a word of it i do not believe a word of it we will stick by those but there'll be more difficult decisions to come in the budget because of the inheritance that we now face. There's a comment there by Jeremy Hunt. 
Uh, obviously, there's a, a graph as well that you can have a look at. Shadow uh, Chancellor, who's obviously Tory, uh, by refusing to take the difficult decisions, bracket, that we caused, bracket, Rachel Reeves will do what she's planned all along, like every other Labour Chancellor in history, uh, and also, in brackets, Tories as well. And that is, raise your taxes. It's obvious what they're going to do, and it's been on the cards for a long time. She says that she needs to find £16 billion to balance the books. It's unclear where most of that will come from, but it will come from, likely, from tax rises. Uh, Starmer has pledged that the main rates of income tax, national insurance and VAT, will not be increased. Well, we have yet to see that. But they're going to do uh, VAT on private schools, uh, they're going to do inheritance tax, they're going to raise that to 45%. They're going to do fuel duty, here we go, restore the 5p cut. Uh, that's interesting. Capital gains, that is going to be equalising 28% top rate of capital gains with the 45% top rate tax rate. And obviously pension reliefs. We've got more on that later. Miss Reeves using the accusation about a funding a black hole. Yeah. But they're going to be doing this, which is stripping winter fuel pavements from 10 million pensioners and ditching the long-awaited social care cap. The Labour manifesto committed to scrap non-DOM status, add VAT to private schools, but that was offset by extra spending. Uh, she could come under pressure to clobber more than 30 million drivers to help plug the gap, potentially allowing the 5p fuel duty cut to expire. So obviously it will go up by 5 pence per litre. Uh, it was introduced in March 2022 to help the cost of living. But of course, that's not going to be for long because they hate car drivers. They do. It's all part of the global plan. Uh, prices at the uh, pumps have fallen. No, they haven't. What are you on about? They, they keep on going back up. It's, it's been around 140-odd, 145, 148, 150. It's not, not below 140 for a long time, many years. But they're saying that this is the Taurus froze the fuel duty escalator for 14 years. So you can see this is a, a disaster in the making. And of course, it's all been predicted. We knew about this. It's going to happen. And for all those people out there going, oh, you're talking rubbish. Well, you need to do some research then, don't you? Because this has been on the cast for a long time. Labour are just following the plan. It's a global plan. The uh, World Economic Forum. I had this conversation the other day with somebody about Starmer and how he's not different to anybody else. He has pledged allegiance to the World Economic Forum. He did it on TV, on a video clip. To choose now between Davos or Westminster. Davos. Why? <laughs> because Westminster is too constrained. Um, and, you know, it's closed and we're not having meaning. Once you get out of Westminster, whether it's Davos or anywhere else, you actually engage with people um, that you can see working with in the future. Westminster is just a, a tribal shouting place. So... How can you be giving your allegiance to a non-elected global body when you are actually in charge of a country? You tell me how that works, please. I don't know. That's not a conflict of interest if, if there isn't one. Anyway, that's the plan. Oh, hello. Uh, sorry to interrupt the video. Um, just to say that if you're interested in and uh, keen to watch new episodes before they come out, the best way to do that is become a, a Patreon. Uh, and you can do that very simply. Just go to patreon.com 
slash Andy Wright Online and sign up for a monthly donation which can be as small as five dollars which is hardly anything if you uh, think about it you can probably get a cup of Costa coffee if you're lucky uh, but five dollars a month will allow you access to all of the videos that I'm going to be bringing out uh, in the next few months and you will get them at least a week early so you can uh, entertain yourself with uh, the new episodes sorry to bother you but uh, now back to the video um, I'm actually quite shocked by some of the comments about the the winter fuel pavement thing um, some people really have no idea I hope that when they get to retire that they are lucky enough to have a pension because quite clearly going on what they're saying and I'll show you that in a moment in the other video these comments are disgusting they really are right that's it today have a very good day and don't forget we need to get at least 75,000 views on this video because the other channel the same video talking about the same subject 75,000 views how, how is that even possible I don't know are there 75,000 disabled people watching these videos because they're certainly not watching my videos just a comment see you later